Hello everyone, Mark here, Mark's Max Muscle, and this is number three, your third fan-requested Friday matchup of the week, the Buff Carrot. I've seen this guy before. Nicholas Vouliad, and I apologize if I get his last name incorrectly, versus Lee Priest. What an interesting matchup this is, and I actually, I seen the Buff Carrot. He tried to get this one in this week as well. Don't worry, Buff Carrot, you got it in last week, you were first. Structurally speaking, identical. I think these guys are both the exact same height, very short, five foot four. I believe that is the the height in question, and they're stocky. Look from the calves to the quads to the tiny little wee waist. These guys are built to do battle. So kudos to you, Buff Carrot. Give yourself a little pat on the back. Might as well. So you can't tell from the front relaxed position. So let's head on into the front double bicep pose and. I used the uh, 2006 Iron Man of Lee Priest, but not for all of the poses. I didn't have every single shot or every single one of the mandatory shots. This here, Nicholas Vouliad, he looks exactly like Lee Priest. The same, like I said, thick, stocky build with a small little wee waist. And they're both blonde. Do you think that could be his son? This could be Lee Priest's son. I mean... The arms, I mean, yeah, Lee is much better in the arms when you take a really close look. But I mean, this Nicholas is no slouch at all. And like I was saying, these guys could be father and son. You know, Lee Priest, he has supreme genetics, but not from his father. Not from his father, but from his mother. Lee Priest and his mother. Lee Priest and his mommy. Some think this is funny. And I do too. Wow. Beautiful. I gave up a promising singing career for sure. I hit you guys hard with that one. Front lats bread. And... Yes, the camera angle is taken at a different angle, actually favoring that of Nicholas Vouliad, but actually does not do him any justice whatsoever. Doesn't matter. Lee Priest is superior in this pose. One of the few guys with big giant arms that is able to pull off a decent front lat spread, more than decent actually, if you run through his, uh, his repertoire pictures, but I wanted to get full body pictures for this one. And that is why I did go with this version and a couple other versions, but impossible for Lee Priest with his uh, his history of pitchers. It's it's almost disgraceful. His best versions, 97, the pitcher quality, the, all the camera angles are tilted quite thusly. But either way, guys, Lee Priest, out of the two front shots, definitely winning. Go to the side, and this is the Grand Prix Hungary version. Another one of my favorite versions of Lee Priest camera angles are okay for some of the shots they didn't get the full body but almost there you can see the calf both guys have huge calves but from this shot you can't really tell it almost looks like nicholas has a tiny set but that is not the case from behind and even from the front massive calves now he is tilting downward is nicholas so it kind of shows the pack a little bit more what the heck let's just bring up a 2006 iron man of lee priest and you'll notice he switched sides there He's, uh, he's showing his, his right pack. Look at the size of the arm on Lee. I think it's a bigger, bigger, better pack as well for uh, Lee Priest. But it's hard to tell because of the angle. Like I said, Nicholas bowing down. Good legs on both guys. So it's pretty even, I think, in the side chest. Go to the side tricep. And Nicholas actually hitting this one like a classic physique, men's classic physique division competitor. I, it grows on me. You know what? I used to, I hated this one before, and say, you know, can't judge this one, he's not hitting it the same way, but I kind of like it, to tell you the truth. And he is showing the tricep, good enough there, good lag as well. Now, tricep for tricep, Lee Priest, look at the size of his big tricep. And usually he was doing the, the check in the Niles, this one here, you check in the Niles, mate. And the funny thing is, he did get his nails painted, so he... He should have flung his fingers out because he's actually clinching his, his fingers in. He can't really check. He, he, he can check his thumbnail. 
But he honestly, he should have opened his hand up. He looked at the judges. What you guys think now, mates? You think I should check the nails? And every time he said nails, that's when you nail the, the, the tricep flex, you know. Checking the nails. Anyway, guys, Lee Priest, I think he would definitely get an advantage in the side tricep, considering the, uh, the original comparison. So, Lee Priest has an edge coming into the back developments, and this is where I don't think that these guys are built very similar. At least they're not hitting the shot the same way. Actually, hard to size these guys in the back shots in particular. Lee Priest stands up a little bit straighter, but, I mean, he's bending at the knees a little bit. Maybe I could have made him a little bit smaller, but, I mean, when you look at the back size, I don't know. I don't know. I think Lee... I think he might be sized okay. Keep in mind, Lee had a huge head. His head looks huge here. But I think Nicholas is leaning his head forward. Nicholas almost has an edge in the back development, you know. And you know... <laughs> just for Lee Priest's sake, I'm not even going to mention the glutes. Because Lee Priest does not care whatsoever about stride of glutes. Who gives a damn about stride of glutes? Look at me arms, mate. Look at me arms. And those are huge arms, even from behind. Look at the triceps. 2002 version of Lee Priest. This one, I generally do use this one. It's one of the only few back shots, straight-on back shots of Lee Priest. It's disappointing. There's a fantastic one from 2003. If you guys check that, and one of his softest versions. So it's pretty much a waste. I think the IFBB had it out for Lee Priest, for sure. But, I know, unpopular decision here, but I'm going to have to go with Nicholas due to the glutes. Go to the rear double bicep, and look at Lee Priest's glutes here. Is this not the 2013 universe? He won the, the NABA universe, if I'm not mistaken, 2013. No politics there. He actually looks hard as granite here. And they might not look as strided, the glutes, but for Lee Priest... Those are some striated glutes, and look at the hamstrings. So if you're talking conditioning, Lee Priest's hamstrings, twice, twice as good as Nicholas. Now, back developments, Nicholas, I don't want to be critical towards his back development, but he, he might need a little bit uh, lower lat insertions. It just almost looks a little bit too long, his midsection from behind. I mean, he's in great condition. Look at the Christmas tree. So... Coming out of the two back shots, Nicholas may actually get an edge, which is surprising to me. Ab and thigh pose. Now, I'm not sure what Nicholas, he's doing here. I think he's kind of, he's trying to hit a vacuum, I think. But his abs are flexed, so it's like a cross between an ab, and th or a, an ab flex and a vacuum. It's, it's kind of a, I don't know if it's going to be good enough to beat Lee Priest. This is a Grand Prix hungry version of Lee Priest. Midsection, actually thicker, at least in this comparison. Hard to say, really. I mean, the camera angles were tilted thusly. Lee Priest, as far as the midsection is concerned, way better. Way better. And actually, the thigh looks a whole lot better. I think he was huge here in 97. 97? There must have been some good stuff going around. Man, oh man. Kevin Lavroni was massive. Uh, Nasser, Elson Body, and Lee Priest. He was a walking... I don't want to call him a building because he was so short. He was like a, a tank, like a little walking tank. So big and so impressive in this pose. Let's finish this one off. This is going to be a debatable one because, you know, I gave the edge in conditioning as far as the glutes, at least in one of the shots, to Nicholas Vuliad. But I think as far as most of the front shots, I think it's domination for Lee Priest. And in this shot, no different. The delts, Nicholas good, has a good set of delts, but then you look at the rest of the arms, and it's boys against men, Lee Priest. Look at the forearms on the man from the front. You know you get a good set of forearms if you're actually even taking note of them. Quads, not as separated, I don't think, for Lee Priest as Nicholas Vuliad, but I think his, uh, they're just massive. I think it's the feathering in the quads. Very impressive. And those calves. Those calves from the front, even. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, apologize for the opera singing, things of that nature. Hey, most of you guys knew what you were getting into when you started your relationship between me and yourself. Lee Priest, 
He is your winner, and I almost guarantee, guys, if I had all of the pictures from this version, the 1997 Mr. Olympia version, all straight angle shots, he would have just dominated this match. It would not even have been a question. But I think these guys were built very similar, and it was an awesome, outstanding idea for a matchup. So kudos to the muscular carrot, or the, the big turnip, I'll call him. Hit thumbs up on the video, guys. Subscribe to the channel. Have a great day.